alert, alert, it's update time. So, now that we have played with some of the new Brothers War Commanders, it's time we go check on some of the previous decks to see if we can improve them with some new cards. You already know that Niheb Dreadhorde Champion is my pet commander, and with every new set I look for new cards that can improve its engine. Our goal is to damage our opponent with Niheb ideally on turn 4, discard most cards in our hand, draw the same amount of cards and make that much red mana. With just a little bit of luck we can deploy big haymakers all at once. Our best scenario is also giving double strike to Niheb to trigger it twice, or find extra combat spells to do it again. The new cards from Brothers War we are trying are Brotherhood's End, which can work as a creature wrath but also deal with artifacts, Mishra's Command, which is perfect for this deck because it works as a removal, card selection, and even enables haste, Swiftfoot Boots, of course, to protect our commander and also give him haste, and finally Cityscape Leveler, which we can play easily with the amounts of mana we make with this deck but we can also discard it to Niheb and unearth it later. That's it, that's the update, now go to the games. What's up everyone, welcome back one more time, you know the deal, we play Historic Brawl and today we are revisiting one of my pet commanders, I think this is my best commander deck ever, built from scratch. I say Commander because I built it first in Commander, but then I transferred it to Historic Brawl and I really love it. This is... I'm in love with this deck. Oh, Thoughtseize. Hope that they don't take the Crashing Drawbridge. This deck is all about attacking with Niheb on turn 4. And we accomplish that but by either ramping on turn 2 or maybe in hasting, enabling haste with something like the Crashing Drawbridge. And opponent takes the lightning bolt, so we will play the cra crashing drawbridge. And Niheb is so good. When it attacks, I mean when it deals damage to the opponent, we can throw away our uh, cards in our hand. And we will draw cards equal to the cards that we discard, but also make mana equal to the cards that we discarded. So we can have such explosive turns where we dump 6-7 cards and just draw our best spells and have like 10. 10, 12 mana to work. Niheb is, uh, has a record in this channel for being in the most videos. I think this will be fourth time that I, or, or fifth time that I'm playing with Niheb. And I really believe that we have to revisit some of the decks more than once. Let's go Niheb here. So we try three, four cards from every set, make the deck, and I like to try them, and I like to see if the deck, the deck performs better in this meta or not. So we will attack with Niheb, they have just a 0-4 wall with Swiftfoot Boots, so we can deal some damage to them. I really don't like to discard cards from these three cards, but since they know about the Chandra, I think we have to look for the land. Well, no land there. So it's a really fun commander. Opponent is on Mishra, Mishra Meld. If you watch the last Game Nights episode, this is a deck that the Professor used. It's a cool deck. A lot of people are playing with Mishra. It's the easiest of the melding commanders. Ah, no land. So I guess that now that we don't draw the land, we have to do kind of a, a special attack, like attack with both, see if they want to block with Mishra. If they do, we can follow up that by Chandra and take down Mishra. See how they want to block. They block with a 0-4. All right, so we will get in with Niheb. And I guess we can discard a lot of cards from our... I don't want to discard the Chandra. So check this out. We can discard this, discard this. And I really feel like Urabras is not so good right now. I'd rather have the extra card than the extra mana. Wow, yes! Well, the best, one of the best things that you can do with this tech is top deck Morag. And just as the Professor did in Game Nights, Morag gives us an extra turn, so we follow that up with a land, 
And Morag would give us a new combat step. Untapping all our creatures, and we can go to Inferno, double striking. Yes! Yes! Here we are for another round with Niheb. Neheb? Niheb? Dreadhorde champion. Opponent is on Vivian already with a plant, and we have one of the newest cards in Brotherhood's End. I really like that card because. It's a sweltering sands or an anger of the gods, but it also gives you the possibility to destroy uh, artifacts. So nice flexibility. That's one of the four cards that we are trying, and we are going to use it right now. This would be a sweltering sands. Sweltering sands has the upside to cycle for three, but I think that it's more relevant to destroy the artifacts. Opponent pulls up with a shifting ceratops. And what I'm thinking here is we can play Neheb and follow that up with the Gilded Pinions, which gives flying to the creature. And oh, Great Hunch. All right, opponent is going off. Uh, going off. Wow. Yeah, too much value for them. I don't know if we are able to catch up. Oh. We can have a very good turn too. I don't want to wrath this board. I don't want to get rid of my creature. They can they can rebuild better than us. So we count on Niheb being good here. We put the Gilded Pinions on Niheb. We also play the Construct. Because anything that we discard we can play. It's not relevant for now. But it will relevant, be relevant in the future. And not so sure what we discard here. Just these two. See if we top deck something good. No. This is another of the synergy, uh, other of the synergies, or another one of the combos in the deck. Is contain containment construct will allow us to cast any every card with this card. So that's that's as good as this deck can be. And the best thing about this deck is when you can give double strikes in a hab, so you get two damage triggers. And that is absolutely ridiculous. Opponent gets in with the Ceratops. All right. Uh, it has Reach and Vigilance from Vivian. I guess I still like to trample one damage to Vivian and see if we can find something from the top of our deck. So if they block with Shifting Ceratops, they, their creature has four toughness and we have five power. So one damage will still trample over. And that is... That's what Niheb needs. Okay, so you've got claws. And we have to drop everything but the No, also the gear hook, because we can play it from the construct. Wow, that's a that those are good cards. Those are certainly good cards. We will choose to play these three cards that we discarded. So this is from the contain Containment Construct. We can play this land from the Graveyard. Yeah. We can also go Storm's Wrath, kill their entire board. Which is really good right now. Oh, they flash in a Worm Coil. I didn't count with that. And we can go Combustible Gear Hulk from the Graveyard. What do they choose? They choose to mill three, takes four. But they have a Worm Coil Engine. We have an Ember Cleave, so we still are on this game. They give the Worm Coil Vigilance and Reach. They gain so much life here. More lands? We don't need so many lands. Huh. Maybe a line here is to put the Ember Cleave on Gear Hulk, trying to get rid of Vivian once again. They flash in a Fire Empath. A tutors for a creature with mana value 6 or greater. So they are going to find something big. It's a cityscape leveler. 
they jump and we have to put the Ember Cleave on the Gear Hulk to trample over. Yeah. But they have a worm coil and they will be play and they will be able to play the cityscape leveler. Yeah, their their start was more explosive. Great Hench is just a fantastic card in their deck, and they found it, and at least we can give flying to the Gear Hulk, but they will destroy the Gear Hulk here. Well, this is the new cards doing new things, and I'm happy that we are seeing this, because this is really the new metagame from Historic Brawl, and the things that we have to learn how to play against. Every, every deck now has access to a Worm Coil Engine, has access to a Cityscape Leveler, and the green decks, more than any other decks, because they can ramp so much. Yeah, they, are, they seem very powerful. Okay. No, nothing. I have nothing. I can just put put the Ember Cleave on. But they but the, their Cityscape Leveler also destroys a non-land permanent on attacks. So they can Yeah, they can take us down here. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, we continue to play with Niheb post Brothers War, seeing if Niheb still is a champion on this format, but we are already making conclusions on the things that we are dealing right now. Playing against Nethroy, we are going to Mulligan again. This deck, what you need to see always in your opening hand is a mana rock or a way that you know that Niheb will be able to attack on turn four. And you can go down to six, but you don't go lower than six. Because Niheb demands many cards in your hand to synergize correctly. Alright, so opponent is trying to mill themselves to mutate and bring back, reanimate a lot of stuff. We will play Delina. Delina is always better than playing Niheb on turn four because it's almost like you give Niheb haste. Because when we play Niheb next turn, we can attack with the Lina copy Niheb. An opponent has to kill the Lina, they don't have to kill Niheb. So it's a sneaky good way to protect Niheb, but still be able to attack with him. Ooh, but you know what's better than copying a, Dre a Niheb Dreher champion? Copying a Terror at the Peaks. So we attack, copy, Terror. Roll very low. <laughs> But still, that's a copy of Terror at the Pigs. Can you imagine if we copied one more time? The amount of triggers that would be? Alright, we are doing our thing. And opponent finds a removal for... I guess Terror. Yeah, but we don't care about this because now we're following up with Niheb. Yeah. Oh... Mm, I think that Chandra here is better. It's... It's a fine line, because the thing is, we can still attack with a with the Lina and attack for 6 minimum. But with Niheb, I'm not so sure I want to discard any of those of um, the two cards that I have in hand. So having a Chandra in play, I think is more valuable than attacking with Niheb to discard nothing. Yeah, I like that play. The Lina's a beast. The Lina is my favorite card from last year's Magic. I love her. It's uh, such a fun card. I will have to play with her as commander again, but do it properly, because last time was kind of meh. Not so good. Opponent puts a Nethroy into play just for the lifelink, but you know what? We are going to get a Nethroy from the Akron War. And better than that, we are going to copy your Nethroy. Hopefully more than once. Yep. More than once. Yoo-hoo. There we go. And wow, oh my God. We are rolling. Yes. And then a two. All right. I'm happy with this. Three. Well, four. Three attacking. Yeah. Come on. Another victory. To the next one. Here we are back for more Niheb Dreadhorde Champion. Post Brothers War. Facing Prosper. The other thing that I like about this deck is that you see these these games are fast. These games are kill or be killed. 
it's as it's as simple as that i'm going to keep this hand based on the fact that we have multiple ways to kill prosper or at least one clear way to deal with prosper sometimes you just have to look at what the opponent is doing before deciding to throw the to throw away the hand and this is one of those times because prosper is a beast and oh we have mishra's command another addition to the deck from brothers war this essentially replaced the the boots, the, the ones that give haste, the escape velocity, that's it. Ooh, target for lightning strike. The escape velocity, because essentially Mishra's command can give haste for one mana, but it also has so much upside. It works as a removal spell, it works as a discard draw spell. It has so much advantage over the other type of, the, the other effects. And that's what I'm trying to look for to make these this deck better is more flexibility more cards that you can that can work in two or three different ways opponent devours our intellect but we can kill that with chandra here get back our magma quake and go niheb and you can see that if we wanted we could use the mishra's command to attack with niheb but i better hold up bold bent here because Bolbent is, well, not like this. I mean, I cannot prevent that. But sometimes they will play their own creature. Sometimes they will play their own creature and try to kill yours. And then you can redirect that to their creature. Which is quite funny. Niheb is back. And now I will do the thing that I said before. So we can choose ah, Mishra's Command. Very good card in this deck. I'm just, now I'm happy that I'm happy that I included it. We can... Give plus one plus zero haste and also loot one card. So, well, it's Ramage. We discard a Quake and draw on a Braid. And now we trigger Niheb. Oh, opponent scoops it up. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm already happy with how the new cards are performing on this deck. When we face Ursa, Lord Protector, ooh, by force in this in this game, should be good because Ursa. Sometimes people will take him with the artifact, with the artifact synergies. So by force could be really really good versus versus them. So Mishra's command displaying very 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 much what I wanted, which is flexibility, and we also had the brotherhood's end which was the replacement for sweltering suns i also included the cityscape leveler as a big creature that you can both play from the graveyard if you discard it because it has an earth but you can also sometimes cast it from all the mana that you make with niheb we try to cast niheb here yet wash away this wash away is such an OP counter spell. It's brutal in, in historic brawl in specific, because in commander it it cannot be good. Because nobody plays like one for one counter spells. Unless they have a very, very good upside like making a bunch of mana for you or so on. But for for historic brawl, wash away is devastating. Should be probably should be banned. But I enjoy playing with it as well. So opponent gives us a target for the by force, and I'm not going to wait for them to play any more any more artifacts. Because what I want to do is I want to play the Ornithopter, destroy the clock, and then next turn we can follow that up with Chandra. And they cannot counter Chandra. Hopefully they try to do that. Like they draw, play a land go. Okay. Oh, we even have the ancient copper dragon. So yeah, we play Chandra. They can bounce Chandra. They can maybe memory, commit to memory Chandra. <laughs> and they scoop it up. Yes, that was a good game plan. 
And this will be our last round playing with Neheb. Neheb, I don't know just how to call it. For To me it was always Neheb. Facing up against Teferi Temporal Pilgrim, the new Teferi Mono Blue Teferi. We milled that... We milled... We mulled that hand automatically. I think I'm supposed to go to 6, because this hand doesn't do very good things against them. Like Brotherhoods and they're not going to play creatures. We can do much, much better than this. We don't have a mana rock. Yeah, I, I think I'm supposed to mulligan. Well, not very good, but it's better. Especially if we stick Magda on the battlefield, because Magda can create some treasures and then Chandra following up. That play could be also really good. A way to keep hitting our spells, keep finding action. Oh, they have something for Magda? They don't. What could they possibly have that they didn't want to use? Please let me make one treasure. Just one. If you don't, we follow that with uh, follow that up with Chandra, which is also good for us. Okay. This is working. Attack for two. Make a treasure. Play mountain and see if they See if this resolves. Quench. Alright. It doesn't resolve. Almost. Almost. I mean... We could have passed. Do nothing. But... We have to... Run them out of counters eventually. Okay. Another attack with Magda, please. Can I? Would you let me, please? All right, another treasure. Maybe we can do the, um, maybe we can do the dragon tutoring with Magda, sacrificing five treasures, because now we can give uh, give them another counter spell target. But we are slowly accruing our treasures. No removal. I mean, no counter. Bounce spell. And summon. All right. This is good for us, because we're not losing our, our, our cards, and we are slowly piling up some treasures. And this time I tried to resolve me heavy before combat, because for the upside of maybe giving it haste with the Mishra's command, I don't think I... I'm going to resolve both spells, but maybe. And there's a chance that we can go attack with Magda, create the third treasure. There's a counter. Create the third treasure and then strike it, reach fourth treasure. And then in our upkeep or in, at the beginning of our turn, in our first main, we can do the other strike it, reach treasure and tutor for a dragon. We are almost there I mean this resolves and what can they do put a creature opponent doesn't realize that we're going to be able to tutor for a dragon they draw from the fairy okay well now we find a dragon and destroy the fairy right because we have to use the strike it reach because we want to attack with the dragon. We could also attack with Magda and do it post combat, but I don't like it. So yeah, just cashing on the treasures. The question is, what dragon do we bring? We could also bring the Cityscape Leveler. Because Magda also tutors for artifacts. Wow. It has to have ha uh, haste or... A destroy trigger like a cityscape leveler but i think the best upside is to go gold span because it makes more treasures and we can start repeating this loop yeah and we need to attack with both creatures and destroy the fairy 
Okay, make... Yes! An opponent scoops it up! That was good. Well, this is the end of the video. I think that was a real good testament uh, about the power level of Neheb Dread Horse Champion. To this day, he's a beast. I think it's one of the best decks that I have created. I'm so happy about it. The changes from the recent set are good. They prove efficient, so I will leave those cards there. And we will play with him again in a few months after the following set in uh, the beginning of next year. So yeah, just subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this content. Also leave a like, a comment, and we will see each other on the next video. I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful day.